Now, students at Dunbar High School upset with the anti-abortionist protesters there. This was the scene outside of Dunbar High School. Anti-abortion activists with graphic posters trying to sway students' minds when it comes to abortion and filming them the whole time. This, As confrontations right? grew more intense, school officials put up a tarp to safely escort students to and from the premises. Many in the Dunbar community are livid, arguing students should be learning about abortion from their parents or teachers, not from protesters with an agenda. It's not your place to subject minors to what you believe. We're just highlighting the fact that abortion is murder. It kills innocent kids. If the school isn't going to teach that, if the public sphere is not going to teach that, the institutions, I think every citizen who knows it's wrong has a duty to do that. This youth advocate is all the more concerned that this is happening at Dunbar. These kids deal with traumatic episodes throughout the day. So their school is their safe zone. It's their safety net to where they go and debrief and go and learn. This isn't the first time these activists have done this. The group's YouTube page shows a number of similar demonstrations, most of them held outside of schools in Virginia. This is our job to teach our kids about any of this stuff. Everybody needs to be convinced abortion is wrong. Though the activists are upsetting many students and teachers across the region, city council says they are within their right as they're not setting up on school property. But the community here is vowing to do everything it can to put an end to these protests. Uh, there are going to be conversations with the principal, the administrators, the students at Dunbar to find out what, if anything, that they need. So that minors going to school can focus on school. In Washington, Inez de la Guitera, WUSA 9.